For 70 years, the U.S. has given Israel tacit approval to steal Palestinian land, build illegal Jewish settlements, and deny Palestinians in East Jerusalem and elsewhere their rights. Trump's decision takes these ongoing policies to the next level. Rebecca Vilkomerson, Jewish Voice for Peace the Associated Press reported Tuesday that Trump has informed Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas he intends to move the U.S. Embassy, and Jordan told reporters Trump gave King Abdullah II a similar notice. While Sanders acknowledged that the threat of violence in reaction to the move was considered as part of the president's decision-making process, she said that ultimately Trump is pretty solid in his thinking. The president is expected to sign a six-month waiver for the embassy to remain in Tel Aviv until the logistical details of a relocation can be sorted out. Yusuf Moon Yair, executive director of U.S. Campaign for Palestinian Rights, called the decision both morally wrong and politically dangerous.